Hello, everyone. This is Jimmy Coldest, back again. Well, technically, we're not making a stealth video this time. We're actually just using the stealth assets because it's easier. Like, they're already here. So why not? I'm going to change the lighting and the fog because today we're, we're not really, you know, going for the atmospheric approach. Today I want to talk about the subject of creating ragdoll physics. So we're just going to copy out our NPC here, we'll delete everything except for his, um, his face. What a face he has, too. Just delete all of this logic. Double tap, create a group. Just a second. Let's go ahead and copy this out. Scope in there. If you want to know how to do that, all, you, all you've got to do is take his whole group L1 and R2, and then X to scope into the other group, and it'll get him out of the main group. Then we're just gonna degroup him with all the rest of it. If you want to degroup things, just use ungroup. Now that that's done, we'll delete, and he's gonna fall, of course, because he's all movable. But we're going to want him to be like a, you know, a wacky, wacky dummy. So just go in here, make him collidable, label him object, make it so he doesn't collide with objects, or friends or foes. And then we're going to go to his head, make that collidable too. Make it an object, make it so it doesn't collide with objects, or friends, or foes. Go to the chest, make it collidable, make it an object. Don't collide with object, don't collide with friend or foe. Go to the elbows, make them collidable. I think you get the drill. Make it an object. Go to the knees. Since this is a group, we're going to have to go in and just do this part separate. Oops. That one's not grouped, so we don't really have to scope in. Now, we've got him going in the right direction, sort of, but you can notice a few flaws with this. His, his legs shouldn't be able to bend like that. We're going to make them bolts. They don't have to be very accurate bolts, either, just bolts. Like, how they pivot is not so important, just so much as that they can only pivot up and down. And we might make them springy, too, but we'll see about that later. And we might add some limits to his shoulder bolts and make them springy. Make the limits somewhat generous. And we're going to make this. a bolt and we're gonna have like a little you know little something that limits his positioning you're getting a little better
make these springy about 30% or so. Add limits, make them kind of conservative. But he's getting a little less droopy. Make these springy, I would make them maybe 60 or so percent. Same with the feet. And make the middle springy, about 62%. And make this a bolt. And we'll make this springy and bolt. And add a little limit to it. You won't really need springs in the fingers, so I highly advise, you know, I should say, you won't need armatures in the fingers. So just go ahead and delete all those might be a little tedious. Make it springy, 63%. Try 63% again. Make these bolts 42 or somewhere thereabouts. And there you have it. It's pretty close to ragdoll physics. I think we can even interact with them. can brush him around a bit. If you wanted, you could probably even toss him, like so. I'll give you an example. Emitter. Just leave the emit speed on 5, or whatever it is you want. Then you have a constant supply of rubber dummies. You could even give it a little spin if you want it to be wacky and ludicrous. See? Pretty fun. What's not to love about a good dummy? Let's, let's make him fly really high. Excellent. Now, Probably the best ways to use these things would be if you wanted a dead body after you kill somebody, or if you want a dead body, you know, someone getting thrown after they're dead, like you want them to fly away after an explosion. I would just admit, emit one of these babies upon death. Maybe have it disappear after a certain amount of time. Depends. But uh, hopefully you found this useful in whatever sector of gaming you happen to be, you know, making a, a game, what genre you're working with. Maybe you'll find this useful. I know one thing, it's a heck of a lot of fun to mess around with. Just look at them go. Anyway, let's give a shout out to our coffee supporters. There they go. You could be one of these flying dummies if you join our coffee. Anyway, that's all for now. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss another video. If you wish to support our earnest insanity, you can check the links in the description to donate or buy merch. Until next time, goodbye. Thank you.